Hello everyone, I thought I'd share a trick regarding the use of microsplat with MapMagic 2. If you use the microsplat nodes, you may have noticed that you can't manually paint the terrain with those microsplat layers. I'm going to show you a way so everything works like it should. But before we start, I would like to thank all of my Patreon supporters for the amazing support. So right here I have a really basic terrain made with MapMagic 2 and yeah, it's a it's a pretty decent result. That's the reason why, you know, I love using Map Magic. But just like many, I ran into the issue of not being able to manually paint the terrain, for example, if I was using Microsplat. And as good as Map Magic is with filtering and making sure you know all layers are in the right place, it it still isn't perfect you know it's auto generated it can never truly be perfect so you always want to manually edit the terrain a bit to you know adjust some painting at least in certain areas now my magic has this great tool where you can basically lock a part of the terrain and then manually go edit it with the terrain tool so just by opening up the main terrain and you can start painting. Now this works completely fine if you're using the default default terrain textures but if you try to use microsplat you know microsplat will work fine with the microsplat node but unfortunately you can't actually manually paint anything and that's honestly quite annoying and you know it's one of those really difficult situations where you don't want to part ways with either of the two assets because they're both simply the best at what they do. But you do want it to work, you know, the way it should. So normally you'd go around and use a output and then use microsplat. And I'm not going to do that actually. I'm not going to use a microsplat node at all as that is actually the reason why there are some issues. So I'm going to add a couple of layers quickly just to demonstrate this so we have there we go so we have a ground texture and we have a grass texture sand texture and another forest type texture and I'm going to add another one I just want this to be complete just to make things a bit easier so let's add a rock texture as well let's add another one there we go and I'm even going to add one more just to uh, completely complete the set. And there we have it. Yeah, this one. So that creates a complete set of textures, which is, you know, pretty great. I already have some, you know, basic filters set up so that I can, you know, already start texturing a bit. So. Well, that's the wrong one. You know what? I'm actually not going to use this one for now. Let's, uh, there we go. I'm going to keep things a bit simple. And, you know, even add a beach terrain. Really nice, really basic. And, this is nice, but obviously, you know, doing it with Microsplat is just so much better. Now, the problem is that, you know, you want to maintain the ability to manually paint. So right now I can select this green and I can start painting. And this is simply impossible if you use the Microsplat node. I've actually looked up and apparently it's, it wasn't even possible with the original map magic tool. And, you know, that's quite a decent limitation and you don't have to have this limitation 
Now, instead of using the Microsplat node, we're actually going to go to our terrain. We're going to go here and we're going to add the Microsplat terrain script. There we go. We're not going to add the material we created previously. So if you take the normal order, you first have to create a, to, uh, a material and then use that in a Microsplat node. We're not going to do that. We're going to click convert to Microsplat. Now this is going to convert the existing terrain layers to a Microsplat material. And the approach is going to be slightly different the way the materials build up compared to you know, manually creating it yourself and using it with map magic. And we're still not done. And there we go. So as you can see, it, it looks slightly different. Obviously blending is slightly, you know, done in a different way compared to uh, default, but obviously you can go ahead and tweak all of those things. Now, if I regenerate this terrain, all of my, you know, all of my changes will be gone. And if we go to the terrain layer right now, we're actually using Microsplat. So if I go to paint, we're actually using Microsplat layers in order to paint, which is really nice. So, you know, I can go ahead and paint this area and to actually demonstrate where, you know, we're truly using Microsplat here, I'm going to, you know, paint all of this. There we go. All painted. Then I'm going to go to my Microsplat material. So let's open that up. And it's not going there. Let's go again. Perfect. And let me actually turn on tessellation. That way, you know, we can truly see what we're using here. So I'm going to turn on tessellation and I'm going to use tracks as well. You know, an easy way to really demonstrate what we're doing here. And there we go. Now I'm going to hit play. And we're falling down and we have this little issue. Now, if you are using the Microsplat node, you do not encounter this issue. I mean, I didn't encounter it at least. And that's because we need to turn something off first. So we go to the terrain and we're going to our and this is only for tessellation, by the way. I just want to be absolutely clear about that. Uh, we're going to map magic, sorry. And we're going to terrain properties and draw instance needs to be turned off. That doesn't work together with tessellation. And we're back. And right now you can see we're uh, you know, it's not properly set up, obviously, it's just the, you know, the basic material here. But we're using Desolation, we're using Tracks, and we're using Microsplat, which is really, really cool. And the best thing about it, obviously, is the fact that I can manually still paint all of those layers. And I can, you know, regenerate it and still use all of those terrain settings with map magic as well so i thought it was worth showing it's something i've come across myself as an issue and even users of map magic one were you know encountering similar issues of not being able to manually adjust anything while using microsplat so i thought it was worth showing this i thought it was you know useful for everyone encountering these issues and without actually having to use that node I think we're also in a much more reliable terrain when it comes to, you know, updates that Microsplat has and that Map Magic then would need to follow as we're just using the default texture node here. So, hope you enjoyed this. If you did, please hit like and subscribe and I'll see you next time.